Yolo guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another Halloween tutorial. But this tutorial, <laughs> you're literally gonna laugh when I tell you why I wanna do this. Once upon a time, let's get ready for story time. I used to be obsessed with the Drake song Versace. And actually, I'm, I'm completely wrong. The song is not by Drake, it's by someone else. I don't know how to pronounce their name. For the purpose of this video, <laughs> I'm gonna be Medusa. I just wanna be able to say, King of Versace, Medusa, my wifey. <laughs> can't take myself seriously. Or I just wanna be like, Versace, Versace, Medusa, head on me like I'm Luminati. Either way, you pick your line. We're gonna continue with this tutorial, so keep watching. First and foremost, I'm gonna just jump right into prepping the canvas. So first I'm gonna start out with soft ochre and I'm gonna put that onto my eyelids using my fingers. And then I'm gonna move right along to moisturizing my skin. And then I'm gonna put my primer on as well. And I'm gonna use the Benefit Professional. Let's take the lightest foundation with a little bit of the white from the flash palette, make a mixture out of it, and apply it onto the face. I like to use a flat top brush because this will help spread the product evenly and fast. I'm going to run it down my neck as well and a little bit on the decollete. With this powder, we're going to set everything. In this case, I don't want to find brows, so I'm only gonna fill in the parts that I have visible holes. Now I'm taking this cream color and applying it all over my lid. And I'm gonna just line the inside of my waterline. And with the color Sienna, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my crease. as well as running that under the waterline. And here I went really dramatic with it. Now I'm applying this color deep brown in a wing shape and I'm gonna blend it out. And now that everything is blended, I'm gonna deepen it with this shade. It's a color from NARS. I'm not sure of the name and if I do find it, I will definitely put it in the description box below. To define the shape, I'm going to go ahead and use a Q-tip dipped in makeup remover. Some people like to apply tape here, but this is how I do it. Now to blend everything out, I'm using Sienna and running that on my crease. Let's take this silver and apply it as our base. And then set it with this shimmery shadow called Tiara from Sugar Pill. It's beautiful. I love how it reflects under the light. Now I want to create a very dramatic wing. Uh, you could do it however way you like. I just want mine a little bit extended out. And here I'm just taking it past the tear duct to create a pointy edge. And apply some mascara and some lashes. So to start with my contour, I'm going to go ahead and take this color Smoke from the Stila palette and run that along my nose and my cheekbones. Gradually, we're going to intensify it, and that's what I'm doing here. Sorry, I get a little ADD. I don't know why I moved on to my nose before I finished my cheeks, but bear with me. Now, let's blend this out again. And then let's take this green shade from the Sugar Pill Pro Palette to build onto this contour. To define the contour, I'm gonna go ahead and run this white from the same palette along my cheekbones. Now, here's where we're gonna bring Medusa to life, slowly but surely. I'm gonna take this Wonder Pencil by NYX and start creating the scales of a snake. And if you like, you can pull up an image of a snake so you can look at the pattern that it has. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm using the Anastasia Jetliner to just outline what I created. And then here, because I want to do these a different color, I'm using a different color pencil, but you don't have to. It's just so I don't get confused at the end. Like I mentioned earlier, I was going to do these a different color, so I chose silver from the flash palette. And then once I'm done applying this, I'm actually going to go ahead and set it with the same pigment from Sugar Pill that I did set my eyes with. Let's move on to the shading part. Here I'm going to go ahead and start applying a little bit of black shadow around the edges. And as you can see, I'm switching back and forth between a fluffy brush and a more tapered brush. And this is because I want a more gradient effect. And here I'm throwing in the shimmery green color from NARS that I don't know the name of. And taking this fluffy brush to blend everything I've laid down out. The whole point is to create a gradient effect. So take your time. And then now, once I've laid down my base, I'm gonna go ahead and start, oh yeah, take a Snapchat, don't forget that. And now I'm gonna take the green from the same Sugar Pill palette I've been using, and I'm gonna just add this as a pop of color to bring those scales to life. And I like to use a pointy brush on some just so it gives it more definition. Now to intensify the scales a little more, I'm gonna go ahead and go over them with this liquid liner. On to the lips. I'm taking this silver and this black, and I actually ended up mixing a little bit of green to get this mixture. Now once I've laid it down, I'm taking the same NARS color that I still don't know the name of and applying it to my lips. It gives it a more shimmering effect. For more depth, I'm gonna add a little bit more warmth to my contour and the look is all complete. I had so much fun making this for you guys. I do think that this look would have been way cooler if I wore some contacts. Unfortunately, what can you do? I cannot physically insert contacts into my eyeballs. I feel like I'm gonna die. So if you're gifted with that talent, feel free to add some contacts. What do you call this? Decorations? My snakes. If my snakes are looking a little discombobulated. As this video has been going on, they've been slowly falling. So there's nothing I can do about that. We're just gonna pretend that it looks good. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so. And please give it a thumbs up. That's all I have to say. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>